this one. Subscribe, like, comment, and I don't think this. I, I don't think I put down comment, but but I don't think so. But just try and just let me know at the email one at ninety nine nine at gmail dot com. If you need some help or anything, I'll let you know. And um, what we're gonna do today with leg bolts, a drill, and a nut drivers. Nut drivers today. And I hope it will be a fun stick today to see the torque on this drill. This torque on this drill is more powerful than any other drill of. Like, uncommon, yeah. And, I'm going to set the camera over here, and then we're good, okay? Yeah. Good see Okay. Now, I'm going to take this. Stick it in here. Drill like this. But if it, if it's too long, you know what to do. We gotta get a spade bit out like this. It's smaller than that. Like this. Like no, not like that. The spade bit. That keeps you on the other ones. So you need a spade bit that will match it. I don't think I have any, but I'll show you. I'll show you, boys. Okay. Let's grind in these so to make them stay there. Right? Um. Uh, I gotta look very quick. Okay. Oh, let's see where it's that's how it's right here. So I transform these into a um uh um uh, wood bits, but nah. Okay. So I use these for metal, so probably use them for wood. But I usually use now we gotta switch that off. We're using a twelve minimum nut driver for this for this leg bolts. So we're gonna screw it right here, bam, like that, that works good, that works good, eh? maybe I can use this for wood bits, I don't know, but hey, hey if I can, that'd be good, I not really know it went that fast on wood, but maybe they are wood bits, really, I don't know, well they're in a really good nice case, but hey, we're putting this bit back on. And so planning on our next video. Might need some little bit of wood. See, see how I'm grabbing it already? Okay. Okay, clamp. I'm going to show you how to clamp very quick too. So we're going to grab a little clamp like this. I'm going to show you how to clamp right now. So this is how you use a clamp. We're getting a little piece of plywood. Okay. We're not going to use any of my gags because I've been cutting all day. Yeah, and it's a school day for me, but, um, I did it today, so, so look at this, we're going to clamp this, we used to do it on the top, because it gives it, because if it's on the bottom, you got to bend down, really, we got to bend down and do it, okay, so we're going to see if it'll reach, Get under the hole, okay. Now, usually I put another bit right there, but first we got to unbreak it first, okay. 
break on me already? I hope not. There we go. So here's the problem with right here. You got to undo it all right here. So you get a better thing of it. You get you get better uh, clamp this uh, accuracy and torque right on it. I thought torque, whatever, get some pressure on it, whatever. Like, I don't hold it and then screw it because it's not a good tool. So that's what I do with this jigsaw. Put it in a bandsaw, really, because this with the screw that holds it down. And so you don't have to fly all over with the clamps. Like, clamps sometimes don't hold it that much. That's why you gotta use heavy duty. That's just the rain out there. I hope it's not hail. That's pretty loud, eh? And, um, uh, I hope it's not going to be a rainy day during our video conference. I hope the power doesn't go out. And so, so here we go. It's mostly off, but we got to get most of it off. Most of it's off, but the more things you have, more pressure it is. So, so, um, uh, can you guys hear me alright? I think so. So you go like, oh, never mind. You go on top, you go on the bottom. Jeez, I'm just losing it today, 